Hello everybody, this is Thomas from Toastamac and Steven here as well. Today we're going to be continuing our series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel Battles. This time I'll be using Weevil Underwood's deck, and you'll be using, uh, who is it again? Rex Raptor. Mmm, right, yeah, I forgot about that character, but you know what, we'll roll with it. I'm really not looking forward to using this deck. I mean, both these decks really suck. Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, both of these decks are really, really bad. But I will try to make the best use of what I've got. Oh, trust me, I don't think it'll take much effort to beat this deck. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and draw our opening hand. Do, 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 mm -hmm. do, do, four cards. Yep. So, since I went first last time, I think you can go first this time. All right, sounds like a plan. Three, two, one. It's, it's time, time to, to duel! Alright, go and All go right. first. Here we go. So, first things first. I will... I forget what, if there's a specific order of things. I just want to make sure I'm not messing it up. <laughs> it's main phase one. All right. Summon monsters or set spell or trap cards. We went over this last week. Gotcha. Okay. So I can set one monster at a time, right? Yes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down in defense position. Mm -hmm. Then I am going to activate a field spell, oh. the forest. Oh, all insect, beast, plant, and beast warrior monsters of the field gain 200 attack and defense. That's not going to help me. That'll be nice. And then after that, I'll go ahead and have a trap card down, or rather, spell a trap, the thing that goes here. Yeah, you, really, you, you don't want to tell me what card it is. Oh, well, it's a card. Okay. Now, duly noted. Are you going to end your turn? I'm pretty sure there is nothing else I can do. Okay, then I'll draw. All right, so let's see here. First, I'll activate this spell card, Summoner's ah, Summoner's Art. Summoner's? Summoner's. Mmm, some bananas. Some bananas. Banana. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Sum banana. Summoner's Art. And I'll choose Serpent Knight Dragon. Oddly specific, but you'll see what I mean later. Next. I will set one card face down, then special summon Gilasaurus. You can special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, activate this effect. Your opponent gets special summon one monster from the graveyard, but um, I don't have any. Yeah, your graveyard's looking kind of barren, so oh well. I protect life, okay? And you do you. So I'll set one monster in defense mode before entering my battle phase. Gilasaurus. This is probably a stupid idea, but attack Thomas's face down monster. So this is where an effect comes into play. Oh no. So, Goki Pwn has a special effect. When this card is destroyed by battle sent to the graveyard, you can add one insect monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. So, well, Gokupon, you've done a very good job. Well, let me go ahead and figure out which one I want. Mmm. I already got a bad feeling back. about this. So, I have my friend the Pinch Hopper. Oh, God. Who will be joining my jolly band. I got a bad feeling about that card. All right. Well, uh, guess I'll end my turn. Yep, so that's going to be it. In that case, I draw. Man, I got two cards this time. I guess I'm not starving. All right, so let's see. So first I will put down another monster in defense position. Oh, face God, down. Thomas. <laughs> That's what this deck seems to do. And then I'll set down this card in this zone. And then. Uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. I draw a card. Let's see. Um. I could use that set monster, but not right now. I guess I'll just use Gilosaurus to attack that face down monster again. So do you like doing the time warp? Let's do the time warp again. Oh, God. It's another Gokipone. And you know what that means. You add another <laughs> bug. 
to your hand. <laughs> yep, my bug collection is turning out fantastic. One one to bet you and Weevil Underwood be friends. <laughs> you know, I'm very curious to who did the voice acting for Weevil Underwood, because it's a very high pitched voice. <laughs> Yeah, you're not doing great, are you? It's just such a high pitch, I can't reach it. <laughs> but you can. Easily. That will be Big Insect. Really? It's a big insect. That's a card Weevil Underwood gave to some loser in Season 2. Okay. Don't underestimate it. <sighs> Fine. I end my turn. Well, here we go. I get to draw even more. Man, this is great. I think I will do this. Oh, God, Thomas! <laughs> you have to tag me already! I want this duel over with! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna savor this! So then, with that set, I'm gonna go ahead and put down this card here. So, when can you activate skill cards? Unless it says a specific time you can activate at any time. Okay. Like, if it tells you you can only do this during main phase one, you can only do it then, or during a draw phase. If it doesn't say a specific time, you can just activate it whenever. All right. That's an idea. Okay. So, this sounds like a good idea, perhaps. But not for now. So, with that, I guess I'm really... Wait. When I do flips, is that only when the opponent attacks? Well, no, since you said it this turn, you can't flip it until the next turn. Okay, okay. Does a flip effect activate when the monster when a monster attacks it? Yes, as long as the card is flipped. But really, <laughs> okay, you shouldn't okay. be telling me this. Okay, well, I just didn't know. I'm just gonna go. Okay, go for it. All right, so, um... Gilosaurus, attack that flip monster. So, do you want to do the time warp again? How many of those goddamn cars nope, do you have? it's Maneater Bug. That, that's worse! <laughs> Target one monster in field and destroy it. Oh god, that's a classic, but that's so worse. Okay. <laughs> um, so... so... Hmm... I, I don't know. As much as I would love to get rid of that Gilosaurus, I have a feeling about that face down card. I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> oh... <laughs> oh, damn thank, it! Thank you, Maneater Bug. You've done great. Oh, geez. I really wish you didn't do that. <laughs> I really, really wish you didn't do that. Oh, that's great. Uh, I was saving it for when you were getting such a big monster, but all you played was weak insects. Yep, that's the plan. Swarm tactics. I end my turn. <laughs> Let's go ahead and draw another card. Ooh, this is looking nice. Uh-oh. So, a quick question. When you tribute something and send it to the graveyard, does that count as a sent to your graveyard condition? Yes, that does count as sent to the graveyard, because you're sending it from the field to the graveyard, so yes, you can do that. Okay. I have a nice combination. Oh, no. So, first of all, do you remember that pinch hopper friend we talked about? I'm going to bring him over, so... Oh, joy. How's it going, Pinch Hoppy? Your time on the field won't be long, but I'm glad to have you here. Wait, why is it not staying there for long? So, this is where a skill card comes into play. Nani? Hyper Metamorphosis! Okay, what does that do? So, Hyper Metamorphosis. When you activate the skill with a... While well, you control the... Oh, wait, no, I can't do it with that. Okay, never mind. You see, that would have been really cool... But unfortunately, I didn't account for that. You need to read the card. That's true. I do need to read the card. Okay. Well, in that case, then, well, I've already put it down, so it may as well be there. Yep. And I guess in the meantime, since I'm just going to kind of have it sitting there, um, it's kind of just chirping around. Sorry for making you really? feel yeah. like you... Sorry for making you feel bad about that. Don't really? worry. You're not going to attack? I mean, how much attack power does... Oh, right. Never mind. Well, let's see. Yeah, in that case, I mean, I may as well. Yeah, because there's nothing harming it right now. So, Pinch Hopper, do me a favor and uh, get rid of that Gilosaurus. Uh, your Pinch Hopper has, Wait, has a thousand, 1, 000, and you have four hundred defense. 
no, fourteen hundred attack points. Oh, wait, it's exactly. it's, okay. Never mind. Then I'm not doing that. You sure? Because I'm why pretty sure I... it has an effect. When this card is sent to... Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Ooh. Now, it does have, like, 1,200, thanks to that Swamp Feel spell, right? And it does, it does it do 200 yeah. or 300? Uh, 200 attack and defense. Okay, so you only lose 200 life points. Yeah. So, you're so yeah, I can do that. It goes down to the graveyard, and when this card uh, controls sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one insect monster from your hand. Well, um... I mean, I don't think any special summon effect goes in. I think you can special... Can you special summon any monster? As if, as long as it fits the description in your in that card, is it an insect monster in your hand? It is an insect monster in my hand. Then you can summon it. All right. With that, uh, big insect, I think it's your time. Well, are you going to summon it? I mean, I may as well, but... Then place it I, on the field. Can I do it in defense? Yes, you okay. can. If you're special summoning, you can do it attack and defense. Okay, good. Big insect, get on out there. So, you done yet? I mean, I guess I am done. Good, because I'm pretty much done with you. All right, um, had a bit of technical difficulties with the camera, but we're back up and running. Yep. So, I decided that I'm done playing around with you. That's so. I'm going to tribute Gilosaurus. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. In order to... Wait... Did you f*** up? Nice. Just shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. Oh, uh, wait. No, I wait. didn't. Did you? I activate the spell card, cost down. By discarding one card, I can reduce the levels of all monsters I have by two. So, which one do I want to get so rid of? So that reduces of? your Gilosaurus to one. I'll discard Ultra Evolution Pill. Which means I only need one tribute to summon this one. Oh, that's what it means. To tribute summon Serpent Knight Dragon. Oh, jeez. Remember when I said I was specific about that? Well, that's because it's tied to my skill that I'm using. Oh, I don't like this. Called Nightmare Sonic Blast. I can only activate this skill when Serpent Knight Dragon is on the field. Once per turn, I can reveal the top four cards of my deck. Then use one of the following skills depending on how many are revealed. So, I reveal Space Time Transcendence, Black Tyranno, Super Ancient Dino Beast, oh God. and Hyper Hammerhead. I really hope those things don't get to attack me. Here's the thing. So, since I revealed three or more dinosaur monsters, or just three or more monsters, I can apply both of these effects. First, I can add one of these cards to my hand. Let's see which one I want. Oh, this feels so good to have choices. You said this deck sucked! Oh, not the skill, mind you. Let's see. I think I'll add Hyper Hammerhead to my hand. Now, the other effect allows me to destroy one card you control. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, da, 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 that one. Damn it! How does it feel? You got rid of corrosive scales! How does it feel? <laughs> that hurts. Oh, that was oh, part of my plan. And the other thing is, I can arrange these cards in any order. Let's see. I want to put Super Ancient Dino Beast on top. And leave the other two where they are. Oh, jeez. Now then. I'll set one card face down before entering my battle phase. Serpent Knight Dragon, attack it. that bug insect. Big insect. Big insect. Whatever. Well, um, do I have any use for this? Uh, no, I don't. All right, well, see you, big insect. But I've been since, a team player. Is since it was in defense position, you don't take any damage. So I end my turn. All right, here we go. Drawing a card. <sighs> Good timing. So, um, let me go ahead and actually try to do something that might actually help me win. Um, so, first up, we have um, a cousin of the big insect, the basic insect. It's the big insect, but slightly smaller and apparently green. So, with that being done, I now get to activate the skill card. Nani? Hypermetamorphosis. Actually, this time. 
You can activate this skill when you control a level 3 or lower insect normal monster. Discard two cards. I guess, can I discard from the, from the field? No. Oh, I have to discard from your hand. Then I don't have enough. Well, that's not going to work then. Well, at least we know how it works. Jesus. Ugh. This is going to be a problem. You might want to just end your turn. <sighs> the problem is it's just going to die and I'm not going to be able to get enough cards. And I really wish I just held on to the cards. I'm going to lose another duel. Well, this sucks. Who knows? Who knows? I really can't say for sure. Let's see. I set this monster in defense mode. And you weren't looking at my cards, right? I didn't. I didn't look. <laughs> okay. I'm too depressed I, to I, look. I'm, joking, I'm, I'm too depressed to look. <laughs> OK, so now let's see. Do I want to activate the skill again? Yes, I want to activate it again. Hybrid Nightmare Sonic Blast. I reveal Space Time Transcendent, Black Tyranno, Card Advance, and Urabi. Since I revealed two monsters, I could destroy one card. Which means... Who well, said okay. I was going to get rid of that monster? Right, right, right. I forgot card, not monster card. Okay, well, there goes the Hegen Trap Hole. Oh, no. So I had to set these cards back in whatever order you please. Yep. So oh. I will put Space Time Transcendence on top and just do that. Okay. Now, time for my battle phase. I'm just sad at this point. God, you are so sad. I'm just going to end my turn. <laughs> All right. Very hard. All right. My turn. Here we go. See? Now you can activate your skill. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Great. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so. Well, I just want to see what the damn skill does already. Yeah, since I really kind of botched my opportunity to use the last one. Yep. So, with that in order. Oh, wait, no, that's not going to work. Oh, wait, my God, let Thomas. Me check. Let me check. Oh, yeah, no, it won't work. There's a specific reason why. I held back on attacking you because I want to see the skill. I'm going to be totally honest. I actually can't do it. <laughs> You're just going to end your turn. I mean, I kind of have no option but to. I turn again. Do you want to give me that chance? Do you want to pull the Goku move? I'll activate my skill first. Mm. No, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to give you one more chance. I'm going to give you one more chance. I appreciate your concern. All right, here we go. So, drawing. All right, so. I think now I can actually activate the effect. Finally. All right, skill card coming in. Third tries the charm. More like fourth time. Four. <laughs> ah, whatever, who's counting? So, you can activate this skill when you control a level 3 or lower insect normal monster. So there are two cards and tribute one level 3 or lower insect normal... Oh. I actually still can't do it. Wait, no, actually, no, wait, I can. Tribute one level 3 or lower insect... Lower, lower, so I can. Okay, good. So, here we go. Now I can do it. Are you ready, Steven? Just do it! <laughs> All right, here we go. You can activate the skill when you control a level three or lower insect normal monster, such as the basic insect. Discard two cards and tribute one level three or lower insect normal monster you control to, once I get to that, let me do this. So laser cannon armor and Beatron, And then I will tribute the basic insect to special summon. From my hand or deck, ignoring some conditions, perfectly ultimate great moth. Um, so and any off, damage your opponent takes for the rest of the turn is halved. First off, finally, <laughs> and uh, secondly, hold on, what the actual frack? The perfectly ultimate great moth. And you can summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. Yep, normally I'd have to wait past turn six. Actually, turn seven because of the one turn thing. I might actually be in trouble. So, can it be normal summoner to set? Must be special summoned by turning one petite moth or six on later after it was quick cocoon evolution. Blah, 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 blah. Ignored so many conditions. So, it is on the field. 
that is great. So, with that being said, and with my hand being empty, which really does nothing for me anyways, um... I'd like to say bye-bye to that serpent night dragon. Will you? It's attack 3500. I don't think you will. Won't I? You see, um... When an opponent declares an attack, I can special summon this from my hand. Gentle Mander in defense mode. And you can only attack this one. Oh. All right, well, I guess Gentle Mander's gonna have to make his early departure from the show. Indeed. Well, I guess with that, I'm kind of done. Fine. I draw. And... I think I'm gonna activate my uh, skill Hyper Nightmare Sonic Blast again. Oh, I God. Oh. Black Tyranno. Card Advance. White Elephant's Gift. And... Raise body heat. Now this time I only revealed one monster, which means I can only add one of the revealed cards to my hand and reshuffle the rest. Okay. So you don't get to choose the order. No, I can choose the order, but I can only take one card. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Whew. Great moth safe. So with that in mind, I think I'll add White Elephant's Gift to my hand. And then just put the other ones wherever. Yep. Oh, I'm sure you have a plan. <laughs> All right. And with Actually, that, I do. Go for your plan. So I'll normal summon Urabi to the field, but it won't stick around for long because I activate White Elephant's Gift. By sending one non-effect monster I control to the graveyard, I can draw two cards. I realize drawing cards is really powerful in this. These are useless right now. Yeah, well... Um... I had my turn. Okay, duly noted. All Wait, right. no, no. No? no. no uh, uh, you won't? Oh, it's too late. I already ended my turn. Okay. All right, so with that, I draw a card. Let's see... I don't even know if this is even going to be useful, but, well, I mean, I guess there's no sense in not having it down. I don't know if there's a reason to keep things in my hand at this point. <laughs> well, what is it? Well, why would I say it? Because I feel like you're about to activate it. Um, I'm not going to activate it because it can't be activated right now. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll just hold on to this, to be honest. It probably won't do anything right now. Mm-hmm. And, um, I guess there's really nothing else I could do in the main phase. So, how many defense points does that have? Ooh, okay. No, you, no, it's attack points. Oh, attack 23. points. 2350. Oh, 2350, okay. And I have 3700, so, eh, I'll get rid of it. So, um, perfect little bit great moth. We'll be taking on Serpent Knight Dragon. Well, this card's not going to save it, but I at least reduce the damage. I activate Reinforcements. I can target one face of the monster on the field. It gains 500 until the end of the turn. Serpent Knight Dragon is now at 2850, but that's not going to be enough. Yep. 3500 minus 2850, that's going to be well, what? Well, it's 3700. 37. Oh, yeah. 3700 minus 2850, that's going to be what? 850 life points that I lose. Whew. Nice. I'm making progress. Barely any Wait, progress, but progress. Uh, so... 3700 3700 minus, minus 2850 20, 850 yeah 850 that's, that's gonna hurt well you have 4000 that's not really that i'm down to 3150 now okay not only that since serpent knight drag is destroyed i can't use its effect anymore oh uh, i can't use the skill anymore oh nice well then i guess that really is the end for me i draw um, let's see. I'm going to flip summon Hyper Hammerhead, but don't worry, it doesn't have any flip, flip effects. effects. But it's not going to stick around for long. I could tribute summon this card in face of attack position by tributing only one dinosaur. I special sum I tribute summon Super Ancient Dino Beast. Oh, that looks a little bit intimidating. It looks like a gray Ridley. Um, uh... Um, right. I may have made a mistake. Oh! 
Yeah, I guess, now that I think about it, mistakes, I guess, are just kind of part of the process. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Until you're a pro. <laughs> right. Which neither of us are. We're, we're not pros, I promise you. Um, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so... Right, um, I guess I'll end my turn. All right, sounds like a good plan. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, that's a pretty nice card. It looks shiny, too. Um, I do have to ask, trap cards. Do I have to set them down the first turn? You have turn to set then... them first and then activate during the next turn. Okay, and I can activate them, like, for example, when an opponent attacks or something. Correct. It. Okay. Okay, well, in that case, uh, I guess I will go ahead and have this down here. Nicely placed. <sighs> Wonderful thing. And then, since there's really, again, not much else I can do... Um, actually, I mean, technically speaking... Yeah, I guess, to be fair, I think there is one more... Uh, something like that, but... I feel like someone's just slowly sticking the knife into my back. Just slowly <laughs> taking their time, really digging it in there. <laughs> just attack! All right, all right, I'll oblige. So perfectly ultimate Great Moth, if you'd like to take a swing at Grey Ridley right there. There goes another 1,000 life points. <laughs> yep, 3,700 minus whatever the heck that was. I'm down to 2,150. Nice. And with that, I end my turn. Yep. I don't know. Um. Mm. Uh, to wait, um, card advance. Card advance. Look at the top five cards of deck, then place them in any order. Oh, so you just get to reshuffle them, basically? Yeah. Man, that would have been really nice with your Nightmare Sonic Blast, wouldn't it? Ugh. So we're having a good time right now. We're having a great time. Mm. Oh boy. Yep. I'm in trouble. <laughs> you know, I remember when I gave you a turn. You might want to. You want to. You want to give me a turn. You know. Mm. You know it's just a mercy. Well, I mean, I'm kind of the bad guy here, aren't I? Fair enough. I'm going to set um, two more cards face down, you know, make you second guess about attacking me, and I end my turn. Oh, yeah, you have no monster cards. Hmm, okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and draw. Either, either mercy or kill me at this point. This is basically Undertale. Yeah, and I'm not feeling like this is the pacifist route. Now that I can't think of much of anything else to do, considering the rest of the, what I've got is stall cards, I think it's a perfect time for the perfectly ultimate Great Moth to lead us to a perfect victory. Perfectly ultimate Great Moth, bonk him! Ah, you fool! Because now I activate nothing. You win. Let's go! Yep. Now we're talking finally! <laughs> and it only took me running a stall deck. <laughs> I just picked the wrong skill for the wrong situation. I should I should have went with Dinosaur Kingdom. That's basically a field spell. That would be a skill. I really shouldn't have picked a de uh, skill that relied on one goddamn monster. <laughs> yup, and the sad part of it is the rest of my deck was stall cards. It's Almost like, the entire thing. If I could have lasted one more turn, I would have been able to stop that great moth, but nope. That's how it goes. Nice. So, thank you very much for watching this rather painful duel. Lovable duel. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date in our latest videos. We got two more duels coming up. Hopefully these decks will be much better. Oh, who am I kidding? They are. Oh, better. they're going to be better. Yeah. They're going to be better decks. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And until the next duel, see you later. Bye-bye.